Jesus would say about our state at the moment, uh, the country at the moment of the time. I wonder what the, uh, what Jesus would say, um, particularly about the aspect of churches. I, I, don't, I don't see why in this country they feel like it's necessary um, to outload, and they really have outlawed, and they really have banned it. Um, it sounds like a communist dictatorship, doesn't it? Well, to be honest with you, I think Ireland's turned into North Korea, and I think it is North Korea. I don't think we even we need to go to North Korea. I think we already have North Korea. <coughs> Um, and we don't need to go to China because we are living in China really in this country. Um, because again, the fundamental right you know, to practice your worship, to assemble too, has been just taken away. Um, and basically nothing's been said. The, the mainstream media uh, touch on it, but they don't really defend people's rights. You think they'd be outright saying to Minister Donnelly, how dare you ban people's worship? Um, but no, OT, not a whisper. They, they just say, Minister Donnelly, Minister, and being really nice to him, and offer a bowl of cereal and everything to him, saying, you want to open the churches? And he'd be like, no, there's no need to. There's no need to. And they won't answer, and they won't ask another question. Um, OT, not too bothered about it, as long as they're getting the funding from the public, as long as people are paying the TV licence, which they're not. But, um, you know, as long as they'd be happy enough. But again, this is the thing. We're the only country in Europe, again, I keep saying this, and it, would you believe it? Father PJ in County Cavan is being being abused and it's just being abused the gals are going every sunday to he in fairness to father pj he's a man of many you know, he's a man he's a man that sticks to his word he's not going to close his church to the people and i wonder what jesus would say about father pj he'd be saying that's the best priest ever that's the best priest this country has seen in a long long time you're know, not turning away his flock not turning away his people not turning away the people and um, like other priests have just closed the door on their faces and basically have said, no, we won't let you in. We won't let you in. Um, and we all know Jesus wouldn't want that. Jesus wouldn't want um, the priest to turn away the flock, turn away the f people who want to worship um, Jesus, who want to worship Christianity, um, who want to pray. Um, Jesus wouldn't do that. I don't think any anybody would do that. Anybody in the right mind would do that. Or anybody that's, you know, anybody that has a soul, I suppose, wouldn't turn away their people. Um, in a time of great need to pray, in a time when religion is so crucial for everybody, where they need to connect with Christianity, even with other religions, it's such a crucial time because people have lost, people have lost so much, and they need to suffer. They need their faith. They need their faith, no matter what faith it is—Muslim, Christian, uh, Protestant, whatever. They need that to lie back on, to, so to say. And we have this government over here to say no. And the point I was making there a few minutes ago, for interrupt myself. Would you believe in County Cavan here, where Father PJ has been abused 24 hours a day, 7 days a week by the guards um, for opening his church? Which he has every right to do. There's nothing that says, it, like, again, it's in the Constitution. I don't know how they can swing their legs around it and say, it's illegal, we're going to put you in prison for it. It'd be the biggest, like, you know, it'd be the biggest shame ever. Like, again, the government have shamed themselves. Like, I don't see they could shame themselves anymore, to be honest with you. The, the, at this point in time, you know, they have shamed themselves beyond belief. Um... But again, they've, they've really pushed the boundaries this time. Um, but yeah, you don't see any of, them, any of the ministers saying Father PJ should be, no, should be let do what he has to do. And again, um, one person I know in County Cabin, just when I'm, I'm going off my point already, I'm getting worse than normal folly. But um, yeah, so there was a person I know in Mullerhorn, he went to his uh, mass um, two weeks ago, and he went there, he was wearing a face mask, he was social distance. There was no problem, there was no COVID, nothing like that. Nobody had a COVID case, not, nothing happened. There was a few people there. He said about 20, 25 people most. Um, everybody spaced out well mass. You know, again, what more do they want? Again, this is the thing of the gals turned up and whinged for a few minutes. Um, and then Father PJ just went on with his mask, as he, as he rightly so. He just ignored them, basically just told them, you know, <laughs> what he usually tells them, probably, that I have every white. And he's, he's dead white. He's really, really dead white. And I wish there was more priests. This brings me on to the next point. Um, I'm trying to get through this as quick as I can. But again, I wish there was more priests in this country would have the bars. And I really would use the word the bars. And the, bish the bishops and the the, head, the church as a whole, the head, the whole establishment of the church in this country would have the bars to stand up against this tyrannical. And we would use the word tyrannical government. That think they have the rights, that they can get rid of everybody's rights in an instant. And they can decide what goes and what stays and everything. Um, and you know... We need bishops, we need priests to stand up to this nonsense. Really, it is nonsense, and it's gone too far with this government with their extreme powers. Like, again, we're the only country in Europe that hasn't got a church uh, open to a certain degree. In England, they have, uh, for a funeral, for example, it's 10 here. In England, it's 30. You know, what's the difference? You know, is this country just, I don't know, is the government making up variants or something? Like, you know, this is the questions we have to ask ourselves. And the next thing I say... 
Would you believe in County Cavan? I keep interrupting myself. Hopefully this time I won't interrupt myself. But in County Cavan, we just had to go across the border. I'm only five, about six or seven kilometres away from the border here. And would you believe in County Fermanagh? Mass is going on to a limited extent. You know, there's probably, I don't know how many, I think it's probably probably 30 or something like that. Probably allowed into Mass, probably with face coverings and uh, social distancing, definitely with that. Um, it's a compromise. Again, the, the government in England are making a compromise. They're compromising with people. They're like, you know, we're not going to outright ban it. We're going to you know, try and do it as best we can in the circumstances we have. And that's all we're asking the government to show a bit of remorse, show a bit of decency. Um, again, there's no decency. It's just Satanism in the government. Um, it's just full of Satanists. And <laughs> I don't know what you would call them. Um, absolute lunatics. And, you know, again, lunatics, not even the words. Psychopaths. Um, I don't know what you would call them. Anti -lo lockdown madness. Ma anti lockdown madness. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, and gum beans, obviously, too. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just, you just, you, 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 you just, I don't know. I really, really don't know. Um, again, you go up to Northern Ireland, there's no problem. Mass has been said, things have been happening. In this country, I don't know. Again, everybody who stands for whites and you know, stands for that your freedom should be upheld, you should be straight away saying, you know, this is dead wrong what this government is doing. Um, especially with the churches, because everybody has a right to worship, obviously. And it's, as they say, the new need at this time everybody needs to you know we connect with god and we connect with jesus and we connect with everybody and um, all the saints and all the angels and um, they need to we we connect with it because obviously god would help us through these um dark dark times um and obviously the government i don't know do the what people to reconnect with god or they just want them to sit in the corner and just be depressed because again they might as well at this stage because the government have taken away everything they could off people. Um, literally now they'll be going into houses and taking away their chairs so they have to sit on the floor. Um, which will be the next thing. They'll probably make up some new absolute insanity rules. And again, Stephen Downey, he should hang himself in shame. Hang his head in shame. Um, it's a disgrace. It is really, really a disgrace that he has the power to decide. Because it's him. And it's Neffert that's decided. And who elected Neffert? And who elected Stephen Dunn? He was elected on the 15th count. As far as I know, I don't think anybody in Wicklow, Wicklow wants him. Um, and he's deciding the future, you know, basically the future of Christianity and the future of every religion in this country. Um, and it's just, again, again, we have to ask ourselves, what would Jesus do? And I tell you what Jesus would do. And I, I you know, I've said, a very, a, but now he's kind of, when I was talking with the church, when I was talking about um opening the churches and everything, I was kind of cautious, very conservative talking, and I'm just saying it out straight now. I say Jesus will go into the government buildings and turn around every table, in the government buildings, um, and he probably would do the same in the priest's house and the bishop's houses across this country. Go around and turn around all the tables, in their houses, um, just with the shield, you, you again the lead again. The Catholic Church, again, they need leadership. People need leadership at this time. and They need they need direction. And, you know, Father PJ, just to say, Father PJ, you know, he, should be, he really should be a national hero. He should be given every medal under the sun and that Ireland has to offer um, for protecting rights and upholding upholding civil liberties. Um, and, again, you won't hear mention of this of RT saying that he should be given medals upon medals. But no, 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 no. We don't, that doesn't suit the narrative. Um, you know, it's somebody else, there's somebody down the road that I don't know, that's I don't know, that's supporting the Queen Party. Um something like that. Um that's what they'd be like. They'd be like, Look at this climate activist. He's saying that Eamon Ryan's the best person since I don't know, Jackie Chan or something like that. They make up some kind of bullshit or tea just so they won't have to cover a wheel story. Um yeah, but that's all tea. You know, spin the narrative, spin the yarn and see what it ends up with. Um as they say. Um, so yeah, that's my whacked over it. Um, but again, it's, it's a sin. It is really, really sin. I don't think Jesus would be too happy with this. And I, 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 don't, I, what I'm, I would reject that word I used. Too happy. I think he'd be absolutely furious with how dare your know, people take away, how dare a government take away people's rights to worship and how dare the priests, like in some places, um, particularly where there's one or two priests in Calvin I know, They've torn away people. They've literally torn away people that wanted to go in. They won't even open the churches. They even go in and light a candle or anything like that. Um, at the very least, you know, people should have that option. Um, but again, in some parishes, you know, again, priests won't do it. Um, and the same with your weddings and things like that. You know, these are important moments of people's lives. Again, same with you know, funerals. 
you know, instead you can't say another goodbye. And that's the simple sense. You can't say another goodbye to your mother, to your father. You know, that's the thing. That's really, really the thing. And that's something we need to look at. Um, because, again, you know, we as was saying to somebody yesterday, no more Foley should take over um, as minister for religion and, you know, whatever else. She, it, there's no such thing as minister for religion in this country but again they should establish that and at least then she might have some common sense and say churches are safe places to be um, and then you know, the government will allow people in um, because Norman Foley is the only one that could save us really at the moment in time and come out with that statement so I'm appealing to Norman Foley and I'm appealing to everybody watching this video to email Norman Foley and say please say churches are safe and obviously then everything will be fine I and mean, not being sarcastic because they probably will listen to Norman Foley Um. Because, you know, that's government here. But again, it's a disgrace. It is really a disgrace. And I don't mean to be joking or anything like that, but it's just, you know, again, you have to try and find some, I suppose, some sets. I don't know how would you put it, some sets of kind of something to bring you, something to have a little joke about it, I suppose, at the end of the day, too. That's why I brought in the Oma Foley there, because you need to go such thing, such depression in this country. You know, people need a bit of a smile and be a bit of a laugh, because, again, this is a very... Yeah, to a lot of people, I know a lot of people, even my grandmother, just to say she's dead now, God bless her soul. But um, she wouldn't have stood for this, and she wouldn't have tolerated it, no matter what else, whatever else has happened in madness in this country. She wouldn't have said, you know, mass shouldn't be allowed and banned, outright banned. She wouldn't have tolerated that. She walked, you know, in snow and no hail and no rain to mass, you know, with bare feet, with no shoes on her feet to get to mass um, every Sunday morning. And she never missed it, no matter what happened. Every Sunday morning she was at Mass. Um, and, you know, and she wouldn't have started. She went out of her way. Like, she had to walk bare feet in the snow, in the rain, with the towel boiling on her feet at some stages. And she went, to, she went to Mass every day. She went to Mass. No, not every day, every week, sorry. And she kept the faith. And, you know, again, it's the other thing that she wouldn't have... The older people wouldn't have tolerated this. And still older people still today wouldn't have tolerated it. But again, they're so afraid of the mainstream media and things that call them, oh, you're at the lockdown, anti mask, anti this, that, the other. But people should say it as this. You know, it's not that you're anti this. You want your freedom. You want your freedom to worship. It doesn't matter. Your freedom, your freedom, your freedom lover. You're the one who stands up for freedom. That's what it is. And if the government and the media doesn't like it, then to hold to hell and to backwards with them. Um, because the, you know, there's a special place in hell, and I really will say this, there's a special place in hell for this government. Um, there is really, really special, especially these government ministers, there's a special place in hell for a lot of them. Um, so yeah, take care everybody and be safe, and sorry if I just wanted to rant, because it's just, it was a joke. It's really a joke, like the, since December our church has been closed, like again, a month at least, again, but it doesn't seem like they're ever going to say, you know, we're going to open it. But again, this is the country we live in.